Jyoti Agi and I'm all set to rock my solo trip to Jaipur. This is my favorite part, you know, the beginning of a trip. You're feeling that excitement and you're like waiting for a cab to arrive so that you can get to the airport and not miss your flight. I'm all excited. Are you guys ready to join me? This is going to be super fun. Well, that's my bag. And as soon as the cab gets here, I'm going to get to the airport and go and rock Jaipur. See you guys! Gabby ditched me and um, because it's pouring in Bombay and it's difficult to get another cab at this point of time so I rushed out and got into an auto. Yes of course, Mumbai Auto Rickshaw Zillabad. I finally checked in and my first stop at an airport is always coffee. So I just landed at Jaipur. I had a super duper long flight. I'm exhausted. But it's time to go and check in now, okay? So see you guys there. Because I am a child and I just have to do I think everyone loves doing that in a hotel. We may or may not do it at home, but in hotels and something just happens to you, you know? That's the joy of traveling so lovely. I have nothing to say. So what about Kikar Bulta? I'm not talking. Bye. So Rajasthan is one of those few places that has its own unique flavor and uh, culture and I don't know how to put that in words but you know like a very unique feeling, very royal and if you want to feel any of that I think you must and must stay only in a heritage hotel because otherwise you don't even feel like you're in Rajasthan you know I mean like I could be anywhere right now this could be in fact my hotel room in Daman had the exact same uh, set up and uh, even my hotel in 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 Kerala so try and book a heritage hotel I think that's where you should stay I mean of course that's my personal opinion and I'm going to be shifting to a hotel like that super soon so yeah I will show you guys what I mean right till then you can enjoy this view And I should put on some makeup, no? Oh my god, I'm so excited, I can't even tell you! So my journey begins right now and I'm going to show you a glimpse of Jaipur right away. And I think this place is absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning is not the word. It's gorgeous. I don't even know how to express this. It's so cool. I'm just going to flip my camera. Tarka Dhaba. We're gonna go and have amazing lunch. Uske baad I'm gonna head to the Amir Fort. So that's the plan for today. Sabi is gonna join me for lunch and we both are gonna tell you how the food is. See you. So I'm at the Tarka Vaishno Dhaba. It's at Beast Dukan in Jaipur. And apparently they have authentic local Rajasthani food. Let's see. Okay, so our food is here. Just have a look. And Saurav is gonna tell you what's what. So basically we are having dal fry, the authentic dal fry of Rajasthan and we are having gatte ki sabzi with tandoori roti, tandoori butter roti. Ah, and it's absolutely delicious. Oh and super spicy, exactly what I needed this afternoon. Okay. And this food is amazing. We're gonna eat now, bye! 
So I've said bye bye to Sobi now, and it's time for me to go and explore the Amir Fort right now. I loved the food. It had simple gatte ki sabzi and a mixed dal. It had a lot of ghee in it, but I guess that's what makes it yummier. So yeah, off to Amir. From now. tomorrow onwards, uh, GST is getting applied in the entire country, which is why all these shops are shut today. They're all on a strike. So as you guys can see, I have reached Amir Fort. and it's extremely extremely hot here and extremely crowded so the first thing that i've done is walked into this really cute small place called the stag which is in front of amir fort and you can see a gorgeous view of the fort from here can you see that it's right there stunning isn't it and it's damn crowded and damn hot right now but It's one of the places that you just have to visit when you're in Jaipur. You go to a city and you guys should be thankful I have decided to go up to Amber Fort and I've got a guide with me. Aapka naam kya hai? Bajwi Prasad Mina. Sano Brahm Kumar Mina. Dilaram Bhag Mahota Sano Bhag. Thank you. Okay, so this garden that you're seeing right now is called the Dilaram Bhag. and that one over there is called mohan bag mohan bag so these are basically the karigars jo uh, craftsmen the the ones that actually help build this garden it's named yeah, after them bad. in 1590 this was actually named after those guys that is such an amazing gesture so yeah. when the king apparently asked them ki aapko apne naam ka kya chahiye these guys said aapka diya hamare paas sab kuch hai we have everything and you've given everything to us So the king decided to name these two gardens after them, the architects. Ooh. So do you see that boundary behind me? Twenty-two kilometers. That's a twenty-two kilometer long boundary wall, and there's a watchtower on top of it, huh? Checkpoint. Up on checkpoint, eh? Near Chokia. Chokia, eh? Yeah. Okay, up on Chokia, eh? It's gorgeous, and um, he's so epic. He's he's clicking such amazing photographs for me. I can't tell you. You're gonna see all of that. Also, another thing, me being me, I just tripped and fell in front of everybody while they were all shouting and screaming and calling me names. Yeah. Yeah. Since they came to me for a selfie, so I said I'm going to trade it with you guys. Only if you tell me a little bit about Jaipur. क्या अच्छा लगता है Jaipur के बारे में सबसे अच्छी चीज़ क्या लगती है? यहाँ का जो Jaipur Fort, Nagar Fort जो है ना वो सबसे best है. हाँ. मतलब पूरे Jaipur का मतलब पूरा scene दिखता है मतलब Jaipur है. तो ये Amir Fort में क्या कर रहे हो इस वक्त? Jaipur ये best है और Amir Fort तो मतलब एक culture है हमारा. अच्छा. और मेरे को एक और चीज़ बतानी है. म क्या नाम है रूपल सो यू लोग सर्च फॉर रूपल त्यागी एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल यूट्यूब पर ओके सो आई वेंट टू अ टेम्पल इन साइड द आमेर फोर्ट ओ एंड बाय द वे इट्स ऑल्सो नोन एज द आमेर फोर्ट क्या नाम बताया था अपने मंदिर का Kali Temple or Durga Devi Temple, but we weren't allowed to click pictures inside, so I couldn't record anything for you guys. But oh my God, the architecture—it's beautiful. The kind of marbles that they've used—they've imported them. They've used Italian marble and uh, it's carved beautifully. If you look at it from one angle, it looks like a flower. If you look at it from the other angle, it looks like a crab. So it's absolutely stunning. But it's damn hot, so I guess I'm done. Now the market that you can actually go visit downstairs, and um, this is basically a gypsy, and it's a free service. So once you're up there at Amir Fort, you can actually take one and you can come back down. Having him with me has been a blessing in disguise. Trust me, I had no plans of doing this, getting a guide for myself, but he has been taking care of me like, oh my god, like like I'm his daughter. So, Badri uh, Prasad Mina, you should ask for him. He's brilliant. Okay. He's going to be around at Army Fort entrance. Totally, totally had an amazing time here, even though it's extremely hot. So I was just taken to a store to check out uh, the bandhri dupattas and uh, uh, leheria, sari. 
Well, it was fun to watch the block printing, the vegetable printing that they do in Jaipur. Um, but all the guides take you to these stores and they want you to shop. So beware and shop wisely. Exhausted now. I'm gonna head towards the hotel, charge my camera. It really needs charging. Then probably head to Chucky Mahi in the night. It was hot. It was extremely hot. Extremely hot. And from Mumbai, I'll say that. It must be really, really, really hot. Perks of being popular. I come back to the hotel because I need to charge uh, my camera. Oh, and by the way. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I guess that's an extension of the Aravali Hills. But anyway, back to my point. So, uh, I come back to the hotel and I get a free cup of coffee. Just for clicking pictures with all of them. And I guess they're also a little excited because uh, they're all in today's uh, Jaipur Times. Oh yeah, I should show you guys that. Yeah. So everyone's being really sweet to me. and. Actually, it's not just that. I think people genuinely are nice around the world. You know, we just think they're not. People are good and so is this coffee. Oh my god, just look at that. Doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? That's Jaipur City for you. So I'm off to Chalky Dhani. See you guys over there. <laughs> In Chalky Dhani, and we are going to listen to some Rajasthani folk music. You get to see the Rajasthan culture, everything right here under one roof. Okay, so this is what uh, the entry looks like. Once you enter Chalky Dhani, they're going to welcome you with this little uh, tikka and you also have musicians playing Rajasthani folk music. It's absolutely gorgeous. As soon as you walk in, you feel like, oh my god, this is the place to be in Jaipur. And it's very, very popular. And once you enter, as you can see, it's extremely crowded. It's a Friday night. And you have options for thalis. I'm going to go for the basic one uh, because I can't finish like a really heavy duty thali. A basic one should be good. So I'm pretty excited. Are you? So as soon as you enter Chalky Dhani, you're going to get a feel of a Rajasthani village. Actually, you can go to the real villages around as well. But if you are in Jaipur, if you're in the city, then this is an amazing option. I'm just going to lower this light right now and show you the place. It's gorgeous. absolutely loved Chalky Dhani right from the beginning. I've been coming here ever since I was a child. I mean, the last time I came here was 10 years back and I must say that the place has only improved in the last 10 years. They have uh, way more uh, uh, stalls now and a lot more activities for kids to do. It's so much more fun and the whole feel is so nice and authentic. I mean, it's right in the middle of the city but as soon as you walk in, you feel like you're in a Rajasthani village. Absolutely gorgeous. You can get camel rides, you can go for a uh, boat rides here if you want. Uh, you can also get amazing Rajasthani food. Actually, that's what it's really, really popular for. And of course, you get to see the folk dances, hear some folk music. Absolutely stunning place. I'm having a ball.
So now the perk of coming to Chowki Thani is you can also get to know your future. Ram Ram Sa Pandey. Ram Ram Sa. आप मेरे कौन सा हाथ देखेंगे? Left hand. Okay, एक मिनट. I think I should shift this. Yes. There you go. Your name? Ah, मेरा नाम Rupal है. Rupal, your luck line is very lucky. Yay! And you think a lot. So this is the card that I picked up. ये आपको अच्छा मकान देता है, अच्छा सुख देता है, और आपका समय जेन का देता है. Now that I know my future is bright, I can happily go and spend all my money right here. It's true, they have so many shopping options. Check it out. Do you see the shops behind me? All these are stores that you can pick up things uh, that you need and things that you don't need as well. You can pick up Rajasthani uh, handicrafts, you can pick up uh, some stoles, dupattas. Or you can pick up cute little things like these. It's basically jute craft. Or, of course, you can pick up jewelry. I love these small, tiny shops. I think they're amazing. Check this one out. Chokidhani, you can pray, you can eat, you can dance, you can sing, you can know your future, you can shop, and there's one more thing that you can do. You can sleep on a cart. See it? Yay! How can I miss this pani puri? It's like my favorite thing in the world. So I'm gonna totally have this right now, and it's said that. Pani puri helps you build your appetite, right? So I'm working up an appetite. Sir, what's your name? My name is Rajmohan Sharma, madam. Rajmohan Sharma? Yes. And you eat all the pani puri here? Yes, I eat all the pani puri here. How many people come here? Yes, madam. 1,000, 1,500, 800, 700, 500, 600, like that. And you eat all the pani puri? Yes, madam. Let's eat all the pani puri. Let's eat all the pani puri. Thank you so much, uncle. Okay, so... Uh, looks like it's gonna rain over here, all right? And uh, there's major thunder and lightning happening and there's a long, long queue for the food. So, I'm lucky I tasted a Rajasthani Thali last evening at the event that I was here for. And so I'm gonna skip this meal, yes. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna skip this meal. I really don't have the patience to wait. I'm exhausted. I just wanna go home and, I mean, to the hotel. So, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Okay. So I am back in my hotel tonight, which is this one. Four points by Sheraton, and I'm gonna be staying here tonight. So, one city, three hotels. That's how I roll. I'm gonna sleep. I have to wake up in the morning tomorrow and shift again and go to MI Road and check out some new cafes and stuff. So yeah, today was wonderful. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with me today. Wait for day two. Okay, so I absolutely love traveling solo. And um, if you want to know why and how you actually feel when you do travel solo, then keep watching. I'm going to upload another video and once that's ready, I'm going to link it down below. So you have to wait for my next video and if you want to see how much fun I had in this one, then keep watching.